Hey, I'm Robin, and this is about my son, Christopher. And we're going to explain to you why neuroscience is so essential. Uh, he was born with a rare brain disorder called sturge weber syndrome. And he's had many, many problems. Um, it causes uh, stroke, paralysis, seizures, glaucoma, blindness, and he's doing really good right now. We've, we've been through it though, but he's going to tell you his story. And here is Christopher. It's not contagious. I've got Sturge Weber syndrome and it's, uh, I've, I've got, I've got lots of friends at the family Christian store in GameStop and I hate it because the family Christian store is, is closing all their stores and that's, it's, uh, and they all love me and I met a friend in Al from Alabama at the, at the, uh, Pigeon Forge car show that I went to with my dad and he pops on the phone and he loves me and he, he, uh, we talk about cars and different stuff and he, and I, Pete comes for a visit one day and, uh, I have to meet you and it, and it's, uh, critical and Sturge Weber is, is not contagious and hope to meet you soon. So Sturge Weber is not contagious. People think it is. He's been um, made fun of by children and adults. Um, all we have to do is, um, you know, go to a restaurant and he gets the stares and everything else. But he's gotten not really used to it in the through the years, but he puts up with it. He'd rather people would ask him about it than to stare at him or laugh or or snicker or something like that. And he does get laser treatments because the uh, port wine could thicken and be very painful. So he has to have the laser treatments. And he sees a lot of doctors, and but that's just a part of it. And, you know, this is why we have to fund the research because neuroscience is essential and it's critical that we put a clamp on these brain disorders and brain diseases that people are having that they're being born with, our children are being born with. And so they grow up into adults, but they've still got the brain disorder. We've got to help in any way that we can um, through research and funding the research so that's why this family thinks that neuroscience is so essential. And we thank you for listening to our story. And we hope that you will remember. And the next time you get the chance, don't, don't laugh at someone. Just say, what were you born with? Or what happened to you? And be honest and and listen intently to what they say because their feelings count also. And thank you so much for listening, for watching, and that's why we think neuroscience is so essential.